Thank you, Joe. Let's head over to our coronavirus tracker desk on this Friday night where we find 25 News reporter Sydney Eisenberg with a look at the latest numbers. Hey, Sydney. Todd, nearly 600,000 Texans could lose power as a state one program that would help keep the lights on comes to an end. Now, the electricity relief program would help those who are financially struggling during the pandemic. Since March, it has provided more than $30 million in bill payment assistance. The program is set to go out on October 1st, affecting 595,000 households. There are 601,000 coronavirus cases across the state. 104,000 cases are active, while 484,000 Texans have recovered. 12,000 people have died. Looking closer to home, McLennan County has 6,100 cases. Bell County officials report 4,662, while the state, which includes Fort Hood in its count, reports 4,747. There are 4,600 COVID-19 cases in Brazos County. In the surrounding counties, there are 408 cases in Limestone, 180 cases in Leon, and 262 cases in Robertson. Breaking the numbers down, McLennan County leads the way in active cases with 1,900. 4,100 people have recovered. Bell County has 764 actives and almost 4,000 recoveries. Brazos County has the least amount of active cases with 455. 4,100 people have recovered. Central Texas has seen 866 new cases this week. Bell County added 132 COVID-19 cases, while Brazos reported 223. McLennan County saw the largest increase with 366 since Monday. Live from the Coronavirus Tracker Desk, Sydney Eisenberg, 25 News.